Hi y'all, I'm back with another book review. So my mom and I have been going through this book, Forgiven, From Forgiven to Forgiving. It's all about learning to forgive and um, because you're greatly forgiven um, by Jesus. And there's some stuff that I really liked and agreed with. There's other things that he, the way, what his points were, I couldn't quite grasp. Um, I think, I can't remember. Oh, it's this one. Chapter 16. Uh, forgiving horizontally and vertically. I think his whole point was that you need, once you're forgiven ver horizontally with God, then you need to forgive with people around you. But that chapter was just like a hot mess to me. I just did not... It was, it made no sense. It almost is like an afterthought and it was like thrown in there after he was like thinking about it more, but it was good overall. Um, it's really, it makes you think about all the things in your past and how you need to start taking accountability and start working on all of them. The ones that you have let go for so long and not ask for forgiveness for and trying to work through that. But then also making sure that you keep short, account, short accounts and like sit asking for forgiveness almost immediately and asking for all this stuff um, pretty much forgive, uh, easily. One of the interesting things, sorry, I, my head's like buzzing. Um, one of the things I thought was super interesting is um, he talks about how we have extended life to the point of where people are not coherent when they're about to go. And so people don't get a chance to reconcile before they go off to heaven or um, if the person is not saved to hell. Um, and so I think it was very interesting to me that they're right. Like there's a lot of instances where people are just so incoherent and they um, maybe were coherent Two weeks ago but they didn't realize that they were gonna um go so fast and i think it it's just kind of a heartening thing because like oh, heartening disheartening that's a word um thing to think about like people used to pass away in their homes or, or around surrounded by loved ones and they all dealt with all the things before the person left uh, for the next life and so I think it's very interesting that he points out that we've kind of been robbed of getting that closing with people. Um, and I really, I really, really in, just enjoyed um, getting to see his perspective on it and seeing how we need to really just try to strive to be the best people that we can be and, and work on forgiving. And, it, and sometimes... It's really hard. There's there's things in my life that are really hard for me to forgive. But to move on and not become bitter is more important. And to know that God forgave us for all the stuff we did. And knowing that because he did that, we need to forgive so greatly. Like, it, it's unfathomable to think that he forgave us every little thing we do, every little thought, every little stuff. And, but, and then we won't forgive somebody for cutting us off on the freeway. I'm not gonna lie. I get really frustrated with that, but, um, it makes me rethink about it and think about forgiving and thinking of a different mindset. Um, there was somebody I was struggling with, um, at, um, work and I had to change my perspective. Maybe they need to be here because they need to hear more about Jesus. Maybe they need to be here because they need to be poured in with more love. Maybe they need to be here for a purpose and for a reason. And it made me change my perspective on the whole person and made me accept them for who they are, try to be kind and try to be loving. And just knowing that that, that little change can really like, um, Set your heart ablaze. Um, anyway, um, so definitely read. I will say there are things that you might not agree with. It's just gonna happen, just like all things. But 
overall it's a great read and it's a great thing to get your brain thinking and moving and trying to work on things for yourself. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this review and you all have a great day.